So India have announced a 16-man squad for the Asia Cup starting September 15 in the UAE. Ajit Agarkar with me to have a look at that squad. We know they have a new captain, your uh, Bombay friend uh, Rohit Sharma. In the absence of Virat Kohli being rested, let's have a look at the squad before getting Ajit's thoughts. Uh, and while the Indian captain has been rested, other surprises you think? 20-year-old left-arm seamer Khalil Ahmed gets uh, a call-up for the first time in international cricket. It looks like Ambati Raidu is fit uh, and clearing yo-yo tests again. So back uh, does he come, so does Kedar Jadav. And there are other changes, Jaspreet Bumrah who missed the England ODIs through injuries, obviously back. And we'll now just compare this squad with those that have missed out from uh, the England series. One significant absentee or player of repute is, of course, Suresh Raina, who was part of uh, the limited overs uh, leg of the England tour. He goes out and uh, also out of this team is Shreya Sayer, who was with the ODI team in uh, England, not part of the T20Is. And other than that, Sid Call and Umesh Yadav, the Pacers out. And uh, Manish Pandey has been called back as well. Right. Let's start with the captain first. Virat Kohli being rested. Do you understand that decision? Yeah, I mean, look, normally I would have said, you know, playing a big tournament like Asia Cup, you'd want your captain there. We don't quite know what his situation with the back is. He's had a couple of niggles through the course of that uh, England series. I had a bigger issue when he had decided to miss, miss the Afghanistan test to mm. go and play county cricket. I mean, as it happened, he had an injury, so he didn't play anyway. But this I can understand. You know, it's been okay. a long, long summer in England. Uh, you know, he's had to carry the batting virtually on his own most of the time. Uh, and when you're leading the team as well, there's there's a lot that, uh, you know, it takes out of you. Especially, you know, add to that, that back niggle. Hmm. Again, we're not quite clear, but I'm sure he's nursing a little bit of a sore back. We'd rather give him a break, break you, now you because... You don't think the prospect of playing Pakistan maybe twice, maybe thrice? Yeah, it is. I mean, it is always tempting. But at, at the end of the day, he's your main player. You want to look after him. There's a big Australia series coming as well and the World Cup to follow uh, next year. I don't think India can do without Virat Kohli. Small matter of the IPL <laughs> sandwiched in between those yeah, two. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't want to go there. <laughs> okay. But, uh, but I kind of understand. As much as you want Virat Kohli to play every single game for India, uh, you kind of understand it. That the, after a five-test match series... Uh, it's it's not a bad idea to give right. him a break. Let's talk about some of the exclusions. Suresh Raina, you're okay with that? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, Suresh Raina was very lucky to be part of the one-day mm. squad. T20 times, you can understand. Uh, you know, and performances have shown that maybe it's time to move on uh, yeah. and maybe look at some other people uh, at that number because it is a critical position. Shreya Sayer? I'm not sure what the deal is there because uh, whether, you know, Frankly, I can't put my finger on it. Yeah. Was in the squad for England. Didn't get a game. Uh, didn't get a game. Uh, you know, hasn't had a long uh, run at uh, One Day Cricket either. So, yeah, pretty strange. I mm. mean, uh, maybe the selectors might have an answer for it. Uh, but I surely don't because uh, someone so young, when you're, when you're obviously, you've obviously picked him because you think that uh, he's got something in him that, uh, that you're looking for that particular position. Uh, without actually playing a game in England, uh, you decide to leave him out. So... Again, I don't have an answer for it. Maybe uh, okay. the selectors do. Umesh Yadav out, but Khali Lema, the left-arm seamer, uh, whatever you know about him? Looks like his performances for India have been rewarded. And uh, again, ho hopefully the selectors have seen enough of him to see. I don't mind, I don't mind trying uh, young guys, uh, especially left-armer gives you a, yeah. uh, a little bit of variety. Uh, you know, put him in a pressure situation early on because World Cup's not too far away now. I know it's still another, what, 10 months, 8, 9 months, but... Uh, the more options you have, the better. So, I don't have a problem with that. I haven't seen a lot of him. Uh, bits and pieces at under-19 cricket and then a little bit in the IPL. Uh, seems to have a little bit of pace about him. But the performances surely say that he's been in good nick. So, why not pick him? Uh, thought the shape of the top four now. Obviously, Shikhar Dhawan, Rohit Sharma. Problem for India has always been identifying someone for that number four. With Virat Kohli gone, you'd think KL Rahul bats three and then... Either a ride or someone for, but that doesn't necessarily, See, does that bode well when you don't have the answers, what, eight months into the World Cup? It seems that way. I mean, Virat Kohli will obviously slot in at that number three, which makes life a lot easier. Yeah. KL Rahul's, I think it's a big tournament for him. I mean, the, all that faith. He was a little bit unlucky, I thought, in England. One mm. not out, one failure, and he was dropped uh, in the favour of Dinesh Karthik, uh, which was, I thought, a bit unfair. Uh, yeah, I quite, don't quite know who's going to bat where after the two openers. I would assume that Rohit Sharma, now that he's captain, he's definitely going to open <laughs> with yeah. uh, with uh, Shikhar Dhawan and he, they should. 3-4-5 uh, is anybody's guess. Manish Pandey is obviously, uh, they've Been gotten him them, back. Yeah. Uh, uh, again, it's a big tournament for him. Uh, he's, he's, not, he's had great uh, series for India. Eh? Uh, not as much for when he's played for India. So, 
you know, big tournament for him as well. All right. Thank you, Ajit, for your thoughts. 16-man squad therefore announced by India for the Asia Cup that follows this England series starting the 15th of September. If you liked what you just saw and want more, click here to subscribe.